Greetings from Portland, Maine. Our kids got their hands dirty today, learning about something that is just so quintessentially Maine, and that is the lobster industry. It is fascinating. Back up on it a little bit. Lobster's a huge deal here. Thank you. You don't want to outfish yourself. Awesome. It's extremely hard to get a commercial lobster license. Right now, the wait list to get a commercial license is about 15 years. Over. We want to make sure that we are sustaining our industry. Caitlin Knight, we are at Rocky Bottom Fisheries. So squeeze it together like you're going to clap your hands. Everybody comes to Maine for lobsters. Perfect. Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it. But they don't always know what's behind the scenes. So you just put a band on what's called the pincher claw. We've had people from so pull up tight all over the world visiting us. Nice. And they learn so right. much. Nice job. We talk about regulations, how to measure our lobsters, how to hold the lobsters. Slide our other hand up under their claws. And we let anybody dig their hands into the trap. Woo! Did you see that tail flap? That's how they move backwards. And again, everything that we're taking out has to be looked at versus male or female and has to be measured as well. This is our measuring tool. What we're measuring is just the back of the lobster here. Lobsters can't be smaller than three and a quarter inches. They also can't be bigger than five inches. We can't keep that one, but he's very cute. Nope. Is it male or female? Did we look? If you catch a female lobster that's bearing eggs, she can't be kept on your boat either. So she goes back into the ocean. We notch her flipper. We alert all fishermen that this lobster is a breeder and she's going to breed for life. She never can be kept. The lobster population is sustaining for sure. So this guy or girl is perfect. We don't really see any decline in any sort of lobster population. We're still catching, we're still making a living off of it. You want to you grab a fish? <laughs> There's a lot of people that work in this industry and it's, it's generational. So we want to make sure that we are sustaining our industry so that those generations can continue to push, fish. Push. And when I hear people go, oh, ah, oh my gosh, that's so cool. You know that you're really bringing something to the table that they came here to learn about. It's a really great feeling. That's my joy is when they enjoy it.